Hello good people and welcome to Excel Hacks for Productivity. One trick, two minutes to learn. I was saved every day. In this movie, we have two sales data reports from two branches. Branch A and Branch B. And what we like to do is to create one master sales data. Now we will move duplicates and add sales and give us one final report. Before we proceed, I would like to go through some ground rules. First, you can have your source data in the same worksheet, different worksheets or even different workbooks. Now what is important is you have a consistent layout. So as you can see, in both sales data reports, I have product and sales, two columns. And my final report is also going to have two columns, product and sales. If you have any extra row or column that is not consistent with um, your final report, you will create an extra row or column in your final report when you consolidate. Now with this done, you can select the first cell in your destination range. So mine is H4. My final report is going to fill this area. That is why I have selected H4. So I proceed, go to data and then hit the consolidate to because I want to sum sales, I use the sum function. I come to reference. In reference, I use the collapse button to select the source data for each branch. So here, my source data starts from A4 and ends in B9. So once you are done, you click add. I'll proceed and select the source data for branch B. I'll add this one as well. The final thing you do is to tell Excel which part of your data range it should use as labels. In this case, our top row and our left column contain text that we can use as labels in our final report. So I'll check top row and left column. If you want a situation where you want the final report to update when we add new data, you can create a link to the source data by checking this as well. So once I'm done, I'll just click OK and I have my final report. I must add that I have formatted this already. So once you have your final report, you can add and format as you please. So please practice and add it to your list of Excel tricks. Please visit our YouTube channel Excel Hacks for Productivity or our Facebook page Excel Hacks for Productivity for more videos. Thank you and have a wonderful day.